Every story has an ending. Stars are born. They shine. They die. Galaxies form, collide, and fade. Even black holes, the most enduring monsters of the cosmos, are not eternal. So what about the universe itself? Does it have an ending? One of the most haunting theories in cosmology says yes. And the ending isn't fire. It isn't collapse. It isn't a bang. It's silence, cold, darkness. A slow fading into nothing. This is the heat death of the universe, the quiet, inevitable end of everything. And the more we learn, the more it seems that this fate isn't just possible, it may be unavoidable. But what does it really mean for a universe to die? The expanding universe. To understand the end, we must first understand the present. Our universe is expanding. Ever since the Big Bang, space itself has stretched, carrying galaxies farther and farther apart. At first, Astronomers thought gravity might slow this expansion down, maybe even reverse it one day, pulling everything back into a fiery big crunch. But then, in the 1990s, came the shock. Supernova surveys revealed that not only is the universe expanding, it's expanding faster and faster. Some mysterious force, which we call dark energy, is driving galaxies away from each other at accelerating speeds. This means that over time, Galaxies will drift farther and farther apart. Entire clusters of galaxies will slip beyond our cosmic horizon. Someday, most of the universe will be unreachable, invisible, forever cut off from us, the night sky. Now alive with billions of galaxies, we'll grow emptier, darker, lonelier. And that's only the beginning, the fate of stars. Right now, the universe sparkles with starlight, but stars are not eternal. Our own sun has about five billion years left. Larger stars will burn up far sooner, living fast, dying young, exploding as brilliant supernovas. Smaller stars, like red dwarfs, may last for trillions of years, but even they cannot shine forever. In the far future, star formation itself will cease. The great clouds of gas that fuel new stars will be used up or scattered beyond reach. The last generations of stars will burn out, one by one. What's left will be a cosmic graveyard of white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. Imagine a night sky without stars. No twinkling points of light, just the cold afterglow of dead suns scattered in an endless dark. The stellar era will end. And then, black holes will rule the cosmos, the black hole era. When stars are gone, black holes remain. These cosmic beasts will dominate the far future, swallowing matter, merging with each other and pulling in the remnants of stars and planets. But even black holes are not immortal, thanks to Hawking radiation. They leak energy, so slowly that the process is almost unimaginable. A small black hole could evaporate in a blink, but supermassive black holes, the ones at the centers of galaxies, could take 10 to 100 years to disappear. That's a one, followed by a hundred zeros. An amount of time so vast it dwarfs the age of the universe today one by one. Even the greatest black holes will evaporate, vanishing into faint whispers of radiation. And when the last black hole dies, the universe enters its final stage. The heat death explained. So what is heat death? It doesn't mean fire. It means entropy. Entropy is the measure of disorder. Right now, the universe has hot stars and cold space, energy flowing from one place to another. That difference between hot and cold is what drives everything. Stars shine, planets form, life evolves, but in the far future, entropy will win. Energy will spread out evenly across the cosmos. No more hot, no more cold, no gradients, no flow. When everything is the same temperature everywhere, no more work can be done. Stars cannot shine, galaxies cannot form, life cannot survive. The universe won't freeze into ice, it will freeze into perfect balance. A state where nothing changes, because nothing can. The ultimate silence. Universe, without time. Here's where it gets even more chilling. Time is change. The ticking forward of events, but in a universe where nothing changes, does time even exist? The cosmos may stretch on forever, but it will be an eternity without events. An endless expanse with no stars, no galaxies, no life. Just cold particles drifting in equilibrium. Some physicists describe this final state as a cosmic graveyard, others as the universe's heat death, an eternity of darkness where time itself becomes meaningless. It's not fire.
It's not chaos. It's something worse. It's nothing. Are there alternatives? The heat death is the leading theory, but other endings are possible. In the big crunch, gravity one day overcomes dark energy, pulling everything back into a final collapse. The universe ends as it began, in fire. In the big rip, dark energy grows stronger over time, tearing galaxies, stars, even atoms apart. Reality itself rips to shreds, or perhaps the universe cycles endlessly, expanding, collapsing, expanding again. A cosmic heartbeat, eternal. Right now, the evidence points most strongly toward heat, death. But the truth is, we don't know. And maybe the universe itself doesn't know yet either, why it matters. You might wonder, why think about something that won't happen for trillions upon trillions of years? Because the heat death reminds us of our place in the story. Stars, galaxies, even the universe itself are temporary. It shows us how fragile this moment is. We live in a rare, vibrant era when stars still burn, galaxies still shine, and life can still exist. Someday, long after we're gone, the cosmos will be silent. But right now, it is alive, and we are here to witness it. The heat, death is not just the story of the end. It's the reminder of the beauty of the present. The heat death of the universe is not a fiery apocalypse. It is a quiet one. No bang, no crash. Just the slow fading of everything into stillness. It may sound bleak, but in another way it is beautiful. Because it means we live in a special time when the universe is young, bright, full of stars and possibility. The story of the cosmos is long, and we are just a fleeting chapter. But what a chapter it is. And perhaps, somewhere in the silence at the end of time, the universe will still remember that, once. For a brief moment it was alive, like Cher. And subscribe to uncover more untold mysteries of our world.